are off to the airport because we we're going to Melbourne. We are going to Melbourne. What are we going to Melbourne for? We're going to Melbourne for the Australian Grand Prix. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Don't worry, I packed some stuff in here for you as well. Also, I love how it sounds hollow. It's because it basically is because I only get 20 kgs of luggage allowance because I'm traveling with Jetstar. It is quarter past five right now and my flight is 20 to nine. So I don't land in Melbourne until 20 to 11 local time, which is 20 to one New Zealand time. So by the time I get to bed, I would have been awake for like 22 hours. My whanau is already en route to Melbourne, like in the sky as we speak. But I had to stay home and finish my work day before I could go. Let's go watch some fast cars go around in circles. Uber driver. Hey. <laughs> 6.30, so my flight, I've got two hours until takeoff time. Hello. Hi. <laughs> rode in the dark last night I feel like kind of disorientated if I'm being honest and I was like oh it's like a real grim day outside but it's just because we're literally look how high this building is it's a beautiful day but the city just gets no sun at all so let's go up to the balcony beautiful clean windows wow hi people the scooters wow the tram there it is welcome to Melbourne since it's my birthday on Friday the hotel left me this lovely little note and they left me this bottle of grapefruit juice and they left me two chocolates. Yeah, but you won't like them, they're coffee. Oh. Who ate it then? Me. Oh. <laughs> oh. 9.30 and we're about to head off on foot over to the Melbourne Convention Centre for a BBC... What is it even called? BBC Earth... Earth. Nothing. It's a David Attenborough thing. It's basically like you walk through and look at different things. Racing starts tomorrow, so today we're just trying to do as much of the other stuff that we want to do as we can. And tonight, oh my gosh, tonight I'm going out for dinner with someone very cool. I'll tell you a bit more about that later on. Can we A bit cold. I'm just, I'm just chilling, Bask, just basking in the sun. Yeah, basking in the sun. He's photosynthesizing. Anyway, we are underneath the Melbourne star that doesn't do anything. And we're also outside Costco. So we have been to the BBC Earth exhibition, which, what were our thoughts on that? It was great. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. That was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And then we went and caught up with a friend of ours and now we are at uh, Costco waiting for the boys to come and Ash and go into Costco and get some lunch and some food for the next few days. I was hoping to get out to Brighton today but the day is going very rapidly. I have a dinner appointment at 5.30 in the city with Alice. She works for Kick. I started following her on Instagram like last year and then she messaged me and was like, oh my gosh, I used to watch her YouTube videos. And I was like, no way, the world is like so small. And so I hit her up, I was like, hey, I'm coming to Melbourne and we should catch up. And so we're going to go out for dinner. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday. Last night, went out for dinner with Alice. So amazing. We ended up chatting for like hour and a half, two hours, which was so lovely. I didn't actually end up eating dinner with her though because we had lunch at Costco at like three o'clock and so I was still full from that. I just had a drink with her and then went to a different place in Fed Square called the Chocolate Buddha. I don't know where the name comes from, but it's a Japanese restaurant and had some sushi for dinner. And then we came back and went to bed and this morning, it's currently quarter past eight, so this morning I got up early, went to the gym and then I went up to the rooftop to do my quiet time and the sun was rising, it was absolutely beautiful and there were hot air balloons. Today is first track day. So there's a lot of V8 stuff happening today. There's like five V8 sessions. So we've made it to the track and we've come in from the opposite end to where we actually want to be. So we're going to keep on walking. I've already, it's lunchtime and I've already hit my 10,000 steps. We need to go find where our seats are because we've got, there's six of us and we've got two seats in three different grandstands or six seats all together. Final setup. Is it right? Will it be fast enough? Seven minutes, 24. I'm currently going up to the rooftop. It is 7.30 and the sun should be rising right about now. I've got my Bible, so I'm going to do my little Devo time, but today's my birthday. I love how on your birthday it's like by default, you just know it's 
gonna be a pretty good day. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm having my birthday overseas. 23rd floor, we're here, my ears need to pop. Morning. Are you actually kidding me right now? I didn't realize that I was getting a present. I thought my present was yeah. the fact that I'm here. So do I, Emma. So do I. <laughs> I mean, I won't complain. Duty free bag. Oh. Ah. I was actually trying to find this yesterday. That's oh, funny. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. This is kind of cool. Well, baby gave it to me. Wow. We have the new Marc Jacobs perfume. Did you try it? Yeah, I quite like this. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Oh, I want to wear that. This is going to be my 22, my scent of 22 year old Emma. Morning, family. Good morning, happy birthday. Making moves. We're going to the South Melbourne market. And we're opting for the route today that takes the least amount of walking because yesterday we did like 20 something thousand steps. We're going to be out for the whole day today because we're going out for dinner tonight for my birthday. So we're not going to be home back here probably till like 8 mm, p.m. maybe. Okay, save the planet. Let's turn some lights on. Oh, oh, Matt's in the bathroom. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Where are we going? Hi. Races. What are we going to go and do, Matt? Watch cars go around the track. We're a bit slow getting going this morning. It's 11 o'clock. So we're going for Matt Payne's Q&A. FP3 for F1. And there's a, a supercars race. Yep. And a F2 sprint race this afternoon. So that is our day. So we're going to be at the track till like 6 p.m. <laughs> on seven o'clock and we just got back from the track and it took us just over an hour or just basically on an hour to get back on the tram we were waiting in the line at the track to get on the tram so we hadn't even got on the tram yet and the boys were like nah we're gonna catch an uber and they're still not back so the uber option took even longer but we have booked in for dinner at 8 p.m to go back to the chocolate buddha at fed square which is really i don't even think i vlogged that but we went there on Wednesday night. Also, these are from Polished by Paige or Polished by Paige. And I have received so many compliments. I, I'm not gonna lie, they are very long, which makes it quite tricky to do anything. But I have received a lot of compliments about them over the past couple days. They're only press-ons though, so I thought they were gonna fall off, but they have stuck on really, really well. Good morning. It is Sunday, it is track day four, last day at the track. We're just about to leave, it's quarter past nine, but I'm just putting on my shoes. It probably doesn't show up on camera, but these are so dusty. The laces were nice and white when we arrived, but the track is so dusty. When I blow my nose, I'm blowing out like black gunk, it's disgusting. We're going down to the track early this morning because Matt Payne is racing at 20 past 10, and he is starting from second on the grid. We'll be at the track for most of the day because there's a driver's parade at one o'clock for F1, and then at three o'clock, is the actual F1 race and it's either 58 laps or they are a lot like three hours for it to allow for safety cars and stuff so if there's no safety cars it should only take like a hour and a quarter but if there's no safety cars that'll be pretty impressive it's really hard to vlog at the track because there's either loud cars loud speakers or loud music which is not very helpful <laughs> Supercars as well, and that's no racing. This has been a very chaotic past few days, but today is Monday. Grand Prix is finished. There are no more track days. And honestly, you know how there's like post-concert depression? I feel like I have post-GP depression. Yesterday, actual Grand Prix day. I, I had pretty high expectations. All of them exceeded. Blown out of the water. Fantastic. It was such a good day. We arrived like early in the morning for Payne's race. I watched F2. Saw the driver's parade. So the drivers are literally like... 
20 meters in front of us which is insane and then for the actual race because we had our seats all over the place matt and i went over to the weight stand on the very far side of the track which if you're watching the race that was where lewis hamilton's car like cracked out so we saw that and then about halfway through the race we swapped and went over to the fangio stand which is on the front straight right in front of the podium so we got to see the finish as it happened and also got to watch the podium which was insane also didn't realize how many max verstappen haters there are out there until he dnf'd and the whole crowd was cheering that was yesterday and then today is my last full day so i go home like lunchtime tomorrow but today i got up this morning and went for a 12k run and then mum and i went and did a little bit of shopping at the emporium i went to seed i've never bought anything from seed before in my life but they had a really good sales section i bought this dress because i actually nah i'm gonna save that for another I bought this new dress. <laughs> I thought it would be good for church regardless of what else I'm planning on using it for. So it was $150 down to $100 but then for some reason it was $80. Anyway, it's really cute. So that's a new purchase. And then went into T2 because I love, this is my favourite tea. It's the Pax of Peach T2 tea. I got some for Christmas and I use it all. And then we got mum and I got some for Alicious as well. Then we came back and picked up the boys and then trained out to Middle Brighton and then walked out to the Brighton bathing boxes and saw those, which it was a really good day to go today because it was hot. There were people out and about, but it wasn't too busy. And there's some of the boxes were open so you could actually be nosy and see what was inside them. Ubered from there to Ozcarts and caught up with one of my brother's uni friends who now lives in Melbourne and we did some go-karting and I came dead last. The guy when I was put, I had to get him to like help me like tie up my helmet and he's like are you gonna win and I literally just looked him dead in the eyes and I'm like no. And amongst it all on the way to the train to go out to the bathing boxes we went to Hosier Lane and had a look which everyone raves about it. I was very unimpressed by it. That's going to be a really unpopular opinion. We are on the way to get some dinner. I have a long list of things I want to do while we're in Melbourne. I knew we were going to get there all of them because the GP was a priority but one of the things on my list was to go to Fishbowl which is where we're going right now. We've secured some Fishbowl for Mum and I and now we're standing here waiting for Dad. What are you getting? I'm getting six tempura prawns, a bottle of rice and some Japanese mayo. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> we're back at the apartment. Time for the unpacking. Mum and I have fishbowl, Dad's just reheating his prawns and rice in the microwave. I ended up doing a build your own. Oh, it got a little bit squashed. It looks like a bit of a mess to be fair. But it's going to be delicious. I've got rice, mixed leaf, beetroot, carrot, seaweed, edamame, shallots, avocado, salmon. Coffee chocolate. Great, can I talk to my boy? <laughs>